Today we will talk about curriculum planning, specifically how to create an academic plan that works across all disciplines and for any content. Meet Bob and Sally. Bob is an instructor who wants to improve on one of his courses for the upcoming semester, but is not quite sure how to do it. Sally is an instructional designer and has the expertise to help him. She uses the academic plan model. Within this model, there are five main components, beginning with stating your learning objectives, defining your student population, sequencing your content, selecting your instructional resources and strategies, and assessing student learning and evaluating your own teaching practices. Let's look at each of these components a bit closer. When selecting your learning objectives, make sure you do so both at the course and module level and state them explicitly to your students. What kind of students are you teaching anyway, and in what format? Make sure you carefully and mindfully choose the sequencing of your content. Do not allow the textbook to do this for you. Perhaps you won't use a textbook at all. Whatever you do, be sure and carefully think about how you want to present your material and what kind of pedagogical strategies you want to use. And finally, how will you assess student learning to ensure that there's mastery of the content? After you've taught a course, make sure that you always reflect on your teaching practices and continue to revise your courses every semester. Again, here are the five components of the academic plan model. Now that Bob knows all of these components and has Sally's help to implement them, they're both happy and their students will be too.